Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today on Somewhat at Home. My name is Krista and I'm the Health and Wellness Manager over here at Special Olympics Missouri. Um, today we will have another workout with Lena. I also wanted to go over our virtual fitness trackers that we are going to start up for the month of February. This will be something that we're tracking for the next six weeks. So you should have gotten an email from me today, including this tracker. Um, so like you can tell, I marked off day one with the date underneath it. If you're from Missouri, you wanna make sure that you guys are filling this out. Um, and then at the end of the six week mark, I'll send out a reminder, just make sure you submit it to me in picture format or email format to be eligible for some SOMO swag. I've already had some questions about what is going to be included in our SOMO swag, and that will be going out to you all next week with more information, um, kind of with some ranking for points as you're collecting along the way. All right. Well, Lena, it looks like our guest speaker hasn't quite arrived yet. So what um, we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and um, Lena, if you wanna just start the workout, and then whenever our guest speaker jumps in today, I can let you know and we can start from there. How does that sound? Sounds good, thank you. Awesome, all right, everyone. Lena has the stage, so please make sure you are muted. And then again, remember, if you're not wanting to be seen during these workouts, please make sure that you go ahead and black out your screen. Stage is yours, Lena. Hi, I'm Lena. I hope you enjoy this exercise class. We will have a guest speaker, workout session, endurance, strength and flexibility, water breaks, and an ending. Now let's get started. I hope you I hope you brought your water bottles with you. If you have any questions, please ask or raise your hand or type it in the chat room. Also, please put yourself on mute. <clears throat> So we are going to start on level uh, endurance for three minutes, and we're going to do jumping jacks. So let me set my timer. And let's get started on those jumping jacks. <clears throat> Can you take a break? Please take a break. Take a water break if you need one. You guys are doing awesome today. As a reminder, Remember that we have Cody showing modifications if you are in a seated position. Keep up the great work. Take a water break if you need it. Where's the clock? Ready, 
more seconds. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go. I see some thumbs up. So next we're going to do is march and swing arms for 30 seconds. Okay, let's go. I'm so proud of everyone. Okay. Next, we're going to do quick punches for a minute. And that's going to start now. See those quick punches? Thirty more seconds. Everybody's doing an awesome job. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Take a water break. Awesome job, you guys. You're doing so great today. Lena, um, if you want to take a break and have Heather go, she was able to join. Um, Heather, are you ready to do your presentation or would you like to wait? It doesn't matter. If you want to continue with your workout, I can, I mean, that might make more sense to continue Perfect. with your work. Sounds good. Lena, we will let you get finished up then um, and then keep on going. Okay, thank you. Okay, next we're going to start our strength. And we're going to do straight leg rises. Raises. And we're going to do 10 of them. So grab something you can get a hold of. Chair or whatever. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Awesome. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's switch to the other leg. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you need to take a hard break, please do so. Okay. 
Next, we're going to push up on the wall. So you would need a wall for this. Okay. You ready? Everybody give me a thumbs up. Okay, let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job, everyone. Take a wide break if you need it. Next, we are going to do curl ups. So you would need a ground for this. Okay, let's get ready for curl ups. And we're gonna do 10 of these. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Slowly get back up. If you need, you can take a water break. Next, we're going to do our strength, our um, flexibility. And we're going to do the calf stretch. Give me a thumbs up if, you, if you're ready to go. Okay, I see. Awesome. You, again, you need a wall for this. And we're going to do 10 each, or 10 on one leg and 10 on the other leg, okay? So if you're ready, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch to the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome job, everyone. If you need a wide break, please take it. Next, we are going to do our tile pose. And we're going to do that for a minute. So let me get my timer going. And you make sure the camera is positioned right. Okay, in a minute, it's gonna start now. Child pose. Easy breathing. Catch your breath. Thirty more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly get up. And the last one we're going to do is called knee to chest. Again, this is on the floor. And we're going to do 30 seconds on one leg and 30 seconds on the other leg. So let's get positioned. And let me set my Time right here. 
and knee to chest. Awesome job, everyone. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, get back up, take a little break. And when you're ready, you do our other leg. Okay, let's get ready to do the other leg. Now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, everyone. Everybody get up slowly. And we have our guest speaker with us. Her name is Heather Harmer. So if you are ready, Heather, we're ready for you. Great. All right. So sorry for being late. Um, I was sitting on a different line for 10 minutes waiting, but <laughs> no, no worries. We figured it out and I enjoyed watching your, your workout. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, <clears throat> All right. So Lina had asked me to present to, to this group. Um, I hear that it's the first week that you guys have been doing uh, Special Olympics Missouri and Kansas collaboration. So um, this is really cool to see. Um, just wanted to give you a little bit of information. Lina was saying, you know, keep things to health topics. And I thought it would be kind of cool to, to chat with you a little bit about how to stay positive during a pandemic. Um, this is obviously unusual times for us and we've been living through COVID for almost a year now. Um, it was actually about a year ago that I was actually in Columbia, um, Missouri, doing a site visit with Krista at Special Olympics Missouri. It was about a year ago at this time, the beginning of uh, February last year. And that was my last work trip um, of 2020 because then the world changed a lot. And um, for my job, I do a lot of traveling to different Special Olympic programs. And, you know, that all was put on hold uh, because of the pandemic. Um, so I just want to introduce myself. Um, my name is Heather Harmer, and I work with our Special Olympic programs in North America. So that's all of our U.S. programs, our programs in Canada and the Caribbean. Um, and I help them with all of their health work. So all of the stuff that you guys are doing with fitness, with health messenger trainings, um, with healthy athlete events, all of those things that are health and fitness related, um, I, I work with programs on to help support them to implement them in your program. I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So I'm in the Midwest, kind of like by you guys. Um, and I've been with, involved in Special Olympics since 2005, probably before some of you were even born. <laughs> um, and I coach Special Olympics um, sports. I'm a, I'm a Special Olympic coach in my hometown, and I coach basketball, bocce, flag football, and golf. And the most recent sport that my team started um, this just two weeks ago was snowshoeing. Um, that was our first uh, way to get back to doing a little bit of in-person activities um, because we can be outside and we can have small numbers and we can we can be a bit socially distant. So um, that is my new sport of 2021 is to do some snowshoeing. And in Minnesota, we do have quite a bit of snow right now. So we're, we're good with that. Um, I'm also a unified partner for golf. And, um, you know, if there's any people out here who are, are uh, animal lovers, dog lovers in particular, I think a lot of people adopted dogs during the pandemic. Um, I, 
I had a dog and she passed away. I had her for very, uh, a long, long time. And unfortunately she passed away during the pandemic, but I was lucky to be able to adopt a new dog, um, an English bulldog named Ruby. And that is her. And you might be seeing her on the call today. All right, so the topics that I wanted to cover, there was three different areas. How can we cope and stay positive and healthy during this pandemic? And this can apply to all of our athletes, but I strongly encourage you to talk to your family and your friends about these, these tips as well. Um, movement, the things that you guys are doing that you just did with the Fit5, movement is really, really important. Um, I, I know some, sometimes it's hard because it gets cold in the winter and we can't go outside and walk and you know, be outside as much um, in the climates that we live in. But if we can do working out at home, um, like for me, my gym was closed for a while because uh, you know of the pandemic, and we weren't able. You know, I like going to the gym and doing doing classes, and that wasn't available to me for a while. So I could really see that my um, that I, I it it was hard to cope during that time because I didn't have that outlet of my my exercise classes. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about strong minds and the strong minds messaging. Um, that can be great tips for you during this time. And then just advice for staying connected. And I think you guys do a great job. You have this weekly time that you get together. So staying connected with your family and friends through all the different platforms that we have these days. So movement, um, physical activity is really, really important. And everyone has different levels of physical activity. Some of us are walkers, some of us are runners. I'm on the walking side, <laughs> but some of us are, you know, like you really like to run and, and do um, 5Ks and marathons, and that's great. Whatever level of physical activity you can do is great. And if it's just um, doing a bit of stretching or, um, you know, doing some squats, sometimes I, I do squats while I'm doing um, working at my, my stand up desk just to do a bit of physical activity during the day so that I'm not just sitting on my butt, you know, for eight hours and not getting any movement. So, um, you know, I think that's really important to, to, to do that. Um, but the imp importance of movement is that we can get, improve our memory and our brain. As we're getting older, I think that's really important for us to get more and more movement. And, you know, you've all probably heard of um, dementia or Alzheimer's. And those are really scary things, but, and there's no cure for either of those things. The only thing that can help stave those things off to help fight against dementia is physical activity. So I, I strongly encourage you to, um, if you're walking twice a week, maybe go on a walk three or four times a week, try to increase that number as your goal, because that's gonna help you as you're getting older um, to have a healthy mind and a healthy body. It also lowers that blood pressure and improves your heart health. And February, we're February 1st, February is Heart Health Month. So it's important for us to be thinking about our heart all times of the year, but in February, you might get more reminders about that, your heart health. Um, you know, some of us are on, on medications for high blood pressure and, you know, diabetes and all, you know, take a lot of medications, but the increase in physical activity can help maybe um, reduce the number of medications you have to be on or reduce um, the, the strength of those medications. Instead of having to take a blood pressure medication that's super strong, maybe the, the dosage is lowered if you continue to do some physical activity. And I think you all know that, you know, doing your workout just now helps you reduce anxiety and depression because sometimes we can all get the blues. And I think too, in the winter time, being in a colder climate, you kind of get the blues a little bit even more uh, because the sun isn't out as much and all of those things. So if you can get out and get some physical activity, that will help cure those winter blues. And I just shared the resource, but you guys already were doing it with the Fit5. Um, you know, if you go on that website, you can use the resource cards and the videos um, are great that you can use at home on your own as well. So what are some different examples of movement. And I, I know you guys are all on mute, but if some people want to unmute yourself or if you want to feel comfortable to type in the chat of what are some examples that you guys do on a daily basis for some movement? I wanted to make this a bit interactive. 
Does anyone have an example? Example? That's um, exercise. Yep. Elliptical. The elliptical. Yep. That's a great, that's a great example. Oh. Did every day. Yep. yep. Walking. Yes, walking is a great physical activity. Running. 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 I have weights. <laughs> <clears throat> Tram now. And push-ups. And push-ups. What about, does anyone ever do, do you like Zumba classes? How about I yoga? I do the plan fitness. <laughs> Dance parties. Dance parties. What about bowling? Yes, bowling, bowling is an example of movement. Any of your sports that you're doing. I used to pull out the weights and I did. <laughs> doing weights, yep. That's great. All right, so we'll move on to the next one. Those are great examples, guys. Keep up the good work. All right, strong minds. Um, Strong Minds is one of our healthy athlete disciplines, and it's it's the very newest one of the healthy athlete disciplines. Um, so maybe you have done some of these things in Strong Minds, and some programs haven't offered Strong Minds yet because it's very new. Um, but some of the strategies are very universal. And on that link, which I'll share this this um, information with Lina so that she can get this out to, to you all, um, you can you can um, click on that link and it. it uh, put you over to the Strong Minds page for all of the resources. So one of the things, to, tips to manage stress are breathing. So we all have to breathe um, every day, but sometimes we have to think about our breathing and to think about taking a deep breath in and then letting it out slowly. Sometimes people like to do things like, I have this um, I got this when I was at Special Olympics Alaska. They had given out these. Um, it's for fit feet. It's a foot, but it's a it's a it's a stress ball. So sometimes I just go and I. Does anyone have a stress ball that you ever use? And if you're kind of getting stressed out or a fidget, some people use um, fidget spinners when they get nervous or they need to manage some of their stress. Or I have a spinner. I have a spinner at home that I use. Great. Another tip you could Another use is like a hand towel. towel. So um, this is just a, an old hand towel. You can just squeeze it and just kind of like, you know, if doing this can help you, um, you know, relieve some of that stress. Another tip is I have these bubbles. We can do some breathing and blowing some bubbles. That can relieve some stress. Now that just made a mess on my table, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so strong breathing, remembering, being, being, recognizing that we have to breathe and sometimes taking in a deep breath. And sometimes if you get stressed or feeling anxious um, or feeling sad, you just have to take a deep breath in through your, through your nose and out through your mouth. And just keep on saying that to yourself, take deep breaths in and out. Another way to help manage stress is through stretching. And for any of you who've ever taken yoga, um, you don't have to be a yogi to, to do some stretching and, and do some stretching moves. I think some of those uh, that you did just before in your workout were like child's pose. That's a great, great stretch um, to get you started or at the end of your day. Some people start their day when they wake up and they do some stretching in their bed. They stretch to get, to get ready for the day. And then I know some people who like stretching at the end of the day too, um, to really like calm their body down and get them ready and rested and relaxed to go to bed. Um, strong supporting is also really important. Um, and through the next bullet point I have is through strong statements. So I think we're good at telling other people like our friends and our family, oh, you're a really good listener or you're a really good, um, you're a really good friend or, you're so pretty, you know, you tell your friends and your family these things, but sometimes we don't say that to ourselves, these positive I messages. So I encourage you to think about that and then take some little post-it notes and write down, I am strong or the I statements that are positive about yourself to think about that and say, 
I am strong, I am confident, I am a good friend, and writing those things on, on a sticky note and then putting the sticky notes up all throughout your house in places that you see, whether it's the bathroom mirror or it's the refrigerator or things that you see on a daily basis so they can remind you um, of these I statements, um, these positive messages about yourself um, because I think that's so very important for us to stay positive during this time to give ourselves that positivity. And sometimes I think we, we don't do that often enough. All right, and the final thing is how do we stay connected? We have this Zoom meeting that we're on right now. And it's a great way to stay connected with our friends and family. Um, some people are just doing the old school way. They're, they're writing letters. Um, and becoming pen pals. Um, I noticed on the news the other day that in my community, they're really trying to um, have a pen pal program with senior citizens living in nursing homes. And I thought, wow, that's a really great way to, um, you know, that's a, that's a community that's a bit lonely right now. Um, and I know some Special Olympic programs who've been um, doing pen pal programs uh, with volunteers and, and athletes that are, are writing to each other or coloring a picture. You know, if you, if you don't want to write a letter, you can color a picture and send it to your friend. Um, you know, calling or texting, depending on our, you know, what levels of, of comfort we have with that kind of stuff. Um, I do a FaceTime, um, a weekly FaceTime with my unified golf partner. And that's been really helpful because he hasn't gone back to work since uh, the pandemic last March. He's been staying at home um, and, and doing our virtual workouts and, and doing some stuff, but you know, he just hasn't been able to go back to work. Um, and so it's a great way for, for him and I to stay connected and for him to feel connected with another person because he doesn't, he doesn't, he isn't going back to work to see people and, and uh, interact with people in that way. So the other thing I think that's really important is um, you know, I think animals play an important role in our uh, mental health. And for those of you, some of you are not animal fans, and so that that's not a, an option for you, but know that an option can maybe be our furry friends. I know a lot of people have dogs or cats or um, bunny rabbits or, or whatever. Um, I think that our animals play such a great role in helping us stay, connect, stay positive and feel less stressed. I know if I'm having a stressful day, sometimes I just, I seriously just sit and talk to my dog. Um, you know, she doesn't talk back or argue with me. So that's nice. Um, and, and it can just help me, uh, you know, some, sometimes talk through things. Um, and, you know, again, she's, she's just listening and she's just there for me. So, you know, th that's another option. Does anyone have any questions about the things that I talked about on ways that you can stay positive and help cope through through these um, challenging times. Doing jigsaw puzzles. Oh, that's a great activity. Uh, um, play, play Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say about uh about um being connected with other people like brand new faces mm -hmm. on Zoom. Yeah, do you like being connected with people? Are you all right? I didn't hear you. If I feel stressful, I like to play bowling games with my family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What yeah. about reading a book? Oh, it's back on. <laughs> There's something happening to. I think someone was talk, starting to talk about reading, like maybe reading books. Yeah. Uh, That's great. Yeah, I've read a lot of books during the pandemic. That's been another stress reliever for me. Um, what about on a sewing machine? Sewing, yep. Yeah. yeah, I've seen a lot of creative, like, you know, hobbies that have, have come about during the pandemic for ways to keep, you know, keep positive and doing something um, that keeps their mind off of, of uh, more negative things. It's good to think of positive and creative ways that we can do some different things. He had told me that there was moments that they were living together. That guy, see your hand raised? Oh, that there would be a reason. Yes. 
I can't if you get me sleeping. How about no. snowshoeing? Places. Because yeah. I know, like you said, I'm training to go to Russia next year. And that usually helps me calm down and help, it helps me run and walk or whatever. Yeah. How often do you uh, snowshoe? How often do you I try to do it as much as I can, but like, but I haven't, we, we, Special Miss Kansas have not, we are not doing our winter sports this year because of the pandemic and, but I reach out to my coach once in a while and, and my parents help me train and, and I got a really cool uh, exercise bicycle I haven't used yet, but I feel like that will help me. That would help people and just stay strong and mm -hmm. so. You're doing good on that. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up to that. Well, All right, well, thank you, Heather, for your time. Yep. You know, best I'm shooting for us, Heather, is uh, welcome. And I want to go. Oh, there she goes. Hi, beautiful. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Hi, beautiful. Thank you, Heather, for your time. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Heather. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for joining this session with me. I hope to see you at the next session. Everyone have a great day. Remember to be happy, be healthy. Bye. 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 Bye.